Hello all, welcome back. This guy right here is the 560 amp Fogstar Drift Beast of a battery. Although now they actually do one called the Beast, I think it's 600 <laughs> amps or something. We've been running two of these batteries in series at 24 volts, powering the upstairs part of the house for the last year and a bit. And they've been flipping brilliant. <laughs> I can't even put into words how much better these are than the AGMs that were on before. They're behind you now. For anyone new here, we've been living completely off the grid for about four years now in the north of Sweden. We converted an old barn into, I guess, a half cabin, half workshop, garage thing. <laughs> and it's been brilliant. We've loved it. Loved every second of it. Obviously, being off grid, we need to have our own power production and storage. So we started off completely on AGM batteries and pretty quickly we realised they were crap. <laughs> they didn't last very long. Came across this company early last year, Fogstar. They're a UK based company. And I saw that they were, you know, they were trying to make some waves in the lithium battery market. So I was well interested in that. Got in touch, started chatting and they said, do you want to try a couple of these monsters and yeah they've been absolutely fantastic i also use their 100 amp version in my van when it's not broken um the van that is the battery has been perfect i've been using it in the boat as well as a for the trolling motor see but i mean these batteries are mega <laughs> two of these together 560 amps at 24 volts that's a lot of juice and it's really changed how we do things here. We can go a lot longer now on between charges in the winter. Because obviously, living where we live, the winter gets very cold, very little sunlight. So we have to supplement with a generator. On the old batteries, we were charging two or sometimes even three times per week. And then as soon as we swapped to these, we went down to once a week, which was a major difference in cost, time, effort, faff the lot sometimes it was even less than once a week every 10 days which is pretty good however we were chatting earlier on this year and the way that this house works is two completely separate systems upstairs and downstairs are not connected it separates things so i can do whatever i want down here in the workshop and it doesn't affect upstairs and vice versa so we have two systems running simultaneously. But we're still on AGMs in here. These are powering downstairs. And they're crap, as I said. So I was chatting with the guys at Fogstar, mulling over the idea of maybe swapping all of them for a lithium or something, getting lithium down here as well. So the whole house was then running on the same stuff. And they were like, we've got a better idea. <laughs> What you want to do is take those 12 volt batteries from upstairs, rip them out and stick them downstairs. And then we've got something even bigger for you to try upstairs. Let's go have a look. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you one of the most ridiculous things I think I've ever seen. <laughs> this behemoth is a battery. One, <laughs> one battery. It's very big. It's on wheels. <laughs> it's 140 kilograms. So we're gonna go to the... That's why it's here. And I didn't bother trying to take it upstairs. So this is 48 volts now. We've stepped up again. So I had to change everything, which I'll show you in a second. Things get a bit crazy when you go up to this 48 volt lark. 24 volts was new to me, but this is another step up again. To give you some context of the capacity of this, I always find it easy to try and convert everything back to 12 volts because everyone knows 12 volts. You know, you buy a 100 amp hour battery, 12 volts, it's easy. 
48 volts, you, you have to start dividing things, it gets complicated. So if this thing was 12 volts, this would be the equivalent of 1,216 amp hours <laughs> in one battery. Just crackers. Although it's pretty spectacular in its mass, there's not that much to look at really. You do have a touch screen on the front of it, tells you everything you need to know. I'll bring you in for a closer look because this just, the first time that I turned it on, this just made the whole thing for me, really. That is what you want your battery to say to you when you switch it on. You have to excuse the whirring noise, that's the solar coming in, which we are grateful for, so I'm not going to turn it off, sorry. There's not a huge amount on the back of him, you see the size of these booster cables. They even have their own special connections which I've never used before, like a push fit thing. Uh, you've got various connection ports here, which I do have the kit to connect to, but I don't have the cables at the minute, so that's not working, but that's fine. And then a massive breaker, and this cuts the, all the power going to the cables for when you're working on it. So those big cables then lead up here, up the wall, and straight to a shelf full of whiskey. <laughs> of course. This was my biggest sort of concern with it all. Because obviously, you know, they've sent us this to play with. I'm not going to mess around with it. I can't afford stuff like this. This is, you know, it's expensive. I think in terms of what you're getting, it's pretty bloody good value for money. But it's not something that we can just buy. You know, we're not millionaires. So I'm very fortunate that we get to test this stuff out and play with it. But I said to him, you know, we, we can't, it'd be cool to get 48 volt, but we don't have anything to plug into it. Everything's either 24 or 12. So I said, don't worry, we'll hook you up with everything that you need to get the system running. So they sent this. This is like double the power of the one that we had before. So this is a three in one, basically, mains charger inverter out six kilowatt inverter and also a solar 100 amp solar controller built into it so this is proper power that this thing can produce and that is the good thing about the lithiums they can put out some serious juice my family visited a couple of weeks ago and very kindly bought us an air fryer which you know never had anything like that before plugged it in and pulling 110 amps out of the system which is a lot of power and a lot of stress on everything and those two batteries in there just no problem didn't even flinch and that was on the old inverter now we've got this thing connected up we could run two of them at the same time <laughs> if we wanted to yeah i'm not going to talk too much about that because this is about the battery but the point is what you can run the reason 48 volt is good the higher you go in the voltage the smaller everything needs to be because the higher the voltage the lower the current so then things like cables and stuff can all shrink they can all be smaller which means you can fit much more into a smaller box so instead of this thing having to be this big it's only a tiny bit bigger it's about that much wider than the old one and yet it's double the power so obviously there's only so much that I can say about that battery because it's been connected for one day <laughs> you know <laughs> I'm not gonna bullshit you it, I've got to test it and play with it however after using these for the last year and a half give or take you know I can confidently recommend them because they've been solid we had one issue with them which is running in series the on the app on the phone the BMS they were slightly off from each other so you'd get different readings it's not like a joined reading but using the shunt as you should do really once that was calibrated right with the right settings in it then it didn't matter I don't even look at the app to be honest I just use the shunt and that tells you everything you need to know but that was like the only teething problem I guess you could call it other than that they've been solid and 
yeah, I'm sure it will continue to be solid for many years to come. That's why they give you a 10 year warranty. They're obviously confident in their products, you know. Obviously we're, we're getting into like, this. it's not cheap, you know, this stuff, as I said before. So this big new battery, this isn't, the, you know, it's, it's a big investment, like if you're gonna do it, but I think for the price, like if you're doing the same kind of thing as us, I don't think you can beat it, to be honest. Just for a couple of quick fire specs, I'm not gonna bore you too much because I don't really understand a lot of it either. But it is heated, which is good, because it does get cold in that room. So it's saying it will still perform fine, even in minus 20, which it probably shouldn't get in there or we've got a big problem. <laughs> I'll leave a, a link to their website in the description so you can have a good detailed look through everything yourselves. But yeah, just to run through a couple of things, premium grade A EVE cells, I think they're the same that they use in these. Got active balancing. I like the sound of this one. Scalable energy storage. So if you're really feeling a little bit crackers, you can connect up to 15 of them in parallel. <laughs> if you want to, 15. Can you imagine that? I could power the whole flipping county. And it's actually wall mountable as well, which I couldn't quite believe. As I said, 140 kilograms, that is no lightweight device. 304 amp hours, as I said, it's a, a Pace 200 amp BMS. I'm sure that means something to someone. And it's also got stuff preloaded into it, which I noticed when I was going through the menus, inverter protocols, not exactly sure what it means, but it's got our inverter on it, so it must be good. <laughs> You know, as I said, I'm not really a tech person. I just, I need things to just work. You know, I don't like messing around too much. Which so far, they have done and they've been faultless. And now, these two, the other one's still upstairs, I need to bring it down. These are gonna be going in here. And I'm gonna rip all of that out and swap for the old 20, old, it's only a few years old, the 24 volt. So that's now gonna be changed, but I'm not going to do that today, that's going to take me ages, I won't bore you with it, I just wanted to show you the the new toy really. And I will of course keep you updated on it in the future once it's got some miles on it and I can actually give you an opinion, you know. But I'm pretty confident that it's going to be absolutely fine, <laughs> given the experience with ease. Right, as I said, website is in the description, I encourage you to go take a look and check out the whole range. The drift stuff, they've got these in all different sizes from 100 right up to whatever the beast one is. I think it's 604 or something. <laughs> I don't know. And I think actually, and when I just went on the website then, I'm pretty sure they said they had a sale on. Bogstar Drift Summer Sale. So definitely go and have a look on there. I will mention this because we were talking about this before. They've just brought out a new range now, which... If they didn't make enough waves in the lithium market originally, now they're just part in the sea, pretty much. They brought out a new range called the Drift Eco. Uh, they're slightly different to the, the Drift. I think it's not heated and maybe something else as well, I don't know. But they are coming in a 100 and a 305 amp flavour, and the 100 amp is £219.99. So you can get into lithium for just over 200 quid now from a decent company, not from some random China thing that's probably gonna blow up on you. You know, you warranty, UK company. Yeah, I think they've probably won. That's my humble opinion. <laughs> right, I'll leave you to it. See you all soon.